economic principle encourages people to stay poor. Imagine you and your friend are throwing a pizza party. But the cost of pizza is too high for everyone to pay equally. So what do you do? You decide that each person will contribute a fair share based on their ability to pay. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of economics to reveal the secret sauce behind the ability to pay principle. In economics, the ability to pay principle means that people with higher income should contribute more towards things like taxes or public goods, while those who have lower incomes should contribute less. This ensures that everyone pays a fair share based on their financial capacity. For example, imagine you and your friends want to go see a movie together. Tickets are quite expensive and you all want to go, but some of your friends have lower incomes. In this case, using the ability to pay principal, you and your friends agree that those with higher incomes will pay a larger portion of their ticket cost, while those with lower incomes will pay a smaller portion. This way, everyone can enjoy the movie without anyone being left out. However, it's important to mention that the ability to pay principle has faced criticism from various economists. One criticism is that it can discourage economic growth. When higher income individuals are taxed at a higher rate, they may have less money to invest, creating new businesses which can slow down economic development. Another criticism is that it may discourage hard work and productivity. Some argue that if people know they will be taxed more as they earn more, they may be less motivated to work harder and achieve higher incomes, which can have negative effect on overall economic output. Despite these criticism, the ability to pay principle remains an important concept in promoting fairness and equity in economic contributions. Government continue to use this principle to ensure that wealthier individuals contribute proportionately more to support essential public services. So, while the ability to pay principle has its critiques, it serves as a guiding principle in creating more balanced economic system. It encourages those with more resources to contribute more towards common good, while also recognizing the impact of incentives and economic growth. And that's a wrap on our journey through the ability to pay principle. I hope you found it enlightening and thought-provoking. Before we go, I have a question for you. How do you think embracing the concept of fair contributions based on one's financial capacity can impact our society as a whole. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue this conversation.